Tis the season to just make a fun, fancy, spooky, strawberry dress inspired dress for yourself. So here is my creation, the spooky dress. Hello there folks! For this special Halloween video, I'm presenting to you a dress I whipped out for myself. Weirdly, a fashion dress. This dress was very heavily inspired by Larika Matoishi's strawberry dress design that went viral a couple of months ago. And up until now, I've wanted to do one of those for myself. So I've seen several people wear and buy this dress, and I just really wanted to make my own version that fit into my favorite season. I used a McCall's store-bought pattern and heavily altered the pattern to the design I wanted. The pattern I used for this was the 7974 pattern from McCall's. The dress pattern itself is super cute and works great on all body types, so I really, really was excited to finally make this dress that I have been eyeing for quite some time. The fabric I used is the white Halloween tulle you see here, a soft crepe fabric in black for the lining, and layers and layers and layers of black tulle for the skirt to give it that poofy princess look. The only thing I really altered a lot was the sleeve shape. Instead of a puff sleeve, I went with a bell shape, which is easy to do with these patterns included. From here on out, I mainly followed the pattern instructions given. There are a lot of pieces involved with this dress, so definitely keep them in line. I would recommend numbering them. more fluff into this gown by adding layers and layers of soft black tulle between the black crepe lining fabric and the white Halloween tulle fabric. the main dress was put together, I actually wanted to add more pumpkins into the dress by zigzagging out some of the pumpkins from the tulle and hand sewing them creatively with a cross stitch and embroidery thread onto the dress, which you'll see later in the video. One aspect of the strawberry dress is the trim work. I mimicked here by using scrap fabric selvage that I had of the tulle and sewed it into sections that you see in the strawberry dress around the breast and the chest area. Plus I added little tassels just for fun.
here I am hand sewing the little pumpkins with an embroidery hoop and really cool cotton embroidery thread that I found that is actually gradated from a red orange to yellow color on the uh, on the thread and it turned out actually really cute for this dress and I was very happy I added more pumpkins because I needed more spookiness <music> The buttons were done, we just needed to make some closures. So I used some self-covering button uh, buttons here with some leftover fabric from the tool, the star portion to be exact, and made buttons for my dress. I think they turned out super, super cute. And then after that, I just made buttonholes using the buttonhole attached foot for my machine and marking them and sewing on the buttons by hand. And then she was ready to wear. Thanks for joining me on this very special spooky Halloween video fashion edition that I presented to you. I hope each and every one of you had a fun and safe Halloween this year. And if you like sewing, cosplay, and special effects makeup and anything related to fun fandom, please subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week. And until next time, bye y'all.